Two super Earth planets, one of which could host the necessary conditions for life, have been discovered orbiting a star 100 light years away. The star LP 899 hosts two exoplanets named LP 899b and LP 899c, the former of which was first picked up by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS. It was characterized using the Speculoos Telescope, one of which is operated at the University of Birmingham, which then identified the other planet. So, in this video, we are going to talk about greatest discovery that scientists find planets better than Earth for life. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. An international team of scientists recently announced that they have discovered two new super-Earth planets just 100 light years away. Both of them are significantly larger than our own planet. Super-Earths are a unique class of exoplanets in the solar system that are more massive than our planet but lighter than the ice giants, according to NASA. They are made by some combinations of gas and rock and can get up to 10 times the size of Earth's mass. A pair of rocky planets orbiting the star LP899, also known as Speculoos 2, seem likely to be in the habitable zone and one of them could be the second most habitable exoplanet discovered so far. Based on earlier findings by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite tests, researchers at the University of Birmingham in the UK use their Speculoos telescope, which stands for search for habitable planets eclipsing ultra-cooled stars to confirm the habitability of these two planets. Speculoos is a project led by the University of Liège, project leader Michael Gillen, and carried out in partnership with the University of Cambridge, the University of Birmingham, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the University of Bern, the Canary Islands Institute of Aerophysics, and the European Southern Observatory ESO. It is based on a network of robotic telescopes whose main cores are the observatory Speculoos South at ESO's Perennial Observatory in Chile, four telescopes, and Speculoos North in Tenerife. Currently, one telescope, complemented by the Saint X, one telescope in Mexico, and Trappist, two telescopes, one in Chile and one in Morocco telescopes. Naturally, scientists turn to our own place in the solar system when searching for factors that contribute to life, such as the exoplanet's size and distance from its host star, as well as that star's size and temperature. The habitable zone is a concept under which a planet with similar geological and atmospheric conditions as Earth would have a surface temperature allowing water to remain liquid for billions of years, said Professor of Exoplanetology Amari Triad whose Speculoos team recently confirmed the existence of LP-899c, as well as the habitability of its sister planet. Their work is forthcoming in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. According to a university news release, the first planet, LP-899b, or TOI, 4306b was first captured by NASA satellite and was later confirmed to be an exoplanet by Speculoos. It is about 30% larger than our planet, with a radius of more than 5,200 miles and orbits its sun in just 2.7 days. Speculoos astronomers then used their telescopes to search for additional transiting planets in the system that could have been missed by tests. Test searches for exoplanets using the transit method by monitoring the brightness of thousands of stars simultaneously, looking for slight dimmings that might be caused by planets passing in front of their stars, explains Laetitia Del Riz, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Liège. However, a follow-up with ground-based telescopes is often necessary to confirm the planetary nature of the detected candidates and to refine the measurements of their sizes and orbital properties. But it's a second planet previously unknown to scientists that have proven to be the most intriguing. LP-899c, or Speculoos 2c, lies slightly farther away from its star than the first planet. It's about 40% bigger than Earth with a radius of more than 5,400 miles and takes about three times as long as its neighboring planet to orbit its star. The discovery of LP-899c, therefore, offers a unique opportunity to better understand and constrain the habitability conditions around the smallest and coolest stars in our solar neighborhood. Lead researcher Laetitia Del Riz said, Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic. 
The new planet LP899C adds to the list of worlds Discovery Team suggests might be examined by the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched in December 2021, the telescope has settled into its orbit a million miles from Earth and already has begun reading out the gases present in exoplanet atmospheres. The telescope's instruments include spectrographs, which can capture the light shining from apparent star through the atmospheres of exoplanets, providing a spectrum and a fingerprint of the types of gases present that and other methods that telescope uses to analyze atmospheres potentially could reveal which of these planets might be habitable worlds. The study authors say the new planet is especially promising for potential atmospheric studies. In fact, the study says it is the second most favorable habitable zone terrestrial planet after the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system. Seven roughly Earth-sized planets about 40 light-years away, including three in the habitable zone of their red dwarf star. According to researchers, that orbit duration is within the star's habitable zone, although these planets' orbits are very close to its star, at a distance about 10 times shorter than that of Mercury around the Sun. The amount of stellar irradiation it receives is still low and could allow the presence of liquid water on the planet's surface, provided it has a sufficient atmosphere. Study co-author Francisco Pozuelo said that's because the planet's star LP899 is about 6.5 times smaller and is roughly half as cool temperature-wise as our sun, he explained. Francisco Pozuelos, a researcher at the Institute of Astrophysics of Andalusia and one of the main co-authors of the paper, said in a news release that the planet could be suitable to live on despite being a mere 3.7 million miles from its sun. Earth, by comparison, is located over 93 million miles away from our sun. Although this planet orbits very close to its star, at a distance about 10 times shorter than that of Mercury around the Sun, the amount of stellar irradiation it receives is still low and could allow the presence of liquid water on the planet's surface. Provided it has a sufficient atmosphere, Pozuelo said this is because the star LP899 is smaller than the Sun and has a surface temperature half that of our star. The observations made by Speculus of LP899 proved quite fruitful, as they not only confirmed the first planet, but they were critical for the detection of a second, previously unknown exoplanet. This second planet, LP899C, renamed Speculus 2C by the Speculus researchers, is smaller in size to the first, about 40% larger than Earth, but has a longer orbital period of about 8.5 days. This orbital period, later confirmed with the Muscat 3 instrument in Hawaii, places the planet in the so-called habitable zone around its star. The habitable zone is a concept under which a planet with similar geological and atmospheric conditions as Earth would have a surface temperature allowing water to remain liquid for billions of years, explains Amari Treyad. He is a professor of exoplanetology at the University of Birmingham and the leader of the Speculus working group that scheduled the observations leading to the discovery of the second planet. This gives us a license to observe more and find out whether the planet has an atmosphere, and if so, to study its content and assess its habitability. The observations not only met their original goal, confirming the existence of the innermost planet, but unexpectedly discovered a second planet in the system. Plenty of caveats come with the temperature estimates. The planet's actual temperatures depend on their atmospheres, about which nothing is yet known. It's possible that the outermost planet's atmosphere has given rise to a runaway greenhouse effect, which would make it more like Venus than Earth much too hot for habitability. So, that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we'll be back soon with another video.